Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today is another exciting day because we are going thrifting again as usual on this channel. So yes, I am carrying on my new series that I've been doing which is called Inside the Charity Shops. And if you haven't seen part one of this, sorry I'm just trying to fix my hair um but yes if you haven't seen part one of this then definitely go and check it out i will link it down below and it will be linked at the end of this video as well and yes basically in this series i take you in to charity shops here in the uk but instead of doing like multiple charity shops in one video i just focus on one brand of charity shop so in the first video we did oxfam which is a brand here in the uk and today's video we're going to be doing a charity called age uk this charity shop is definitely one of my favorites um age uk have a bunch of different charity shops all across the uk and this one in particular is in an area called allerton in liverpool and I just love it. I love going into this shop. It always has so much stock in there, which makes things so fun because you can definitely search and try and find a lot of new and exciting items. So yes, that is what we're doing today. And as usual for this video, let's start by doing a little outfit of the day. Okay. I'm filming this kind of like this style. I usually film it in my mirror, but anyway, here we go. Um, so I've got this dress on. I've had this for quite a few years, but I just haven't really worn it. Um, it's from Zara, um, and it has these like cute little cutouts, but I do have like a bit of a an unattractive bra on today, so I'm trying to just kind of hide that. But yeah, this is the basis of my outfit. Then I'm adding my Doc Martens. I do have some black tights under this dress as well because it's pretty cold. Okay, and then I'm adding my lovely jacket by Magpie Vintage. Um, just because I saw this today and I was like, that will go so well with the green. So, I mean, I think it goes well. Yeah. There we go. Little vibe. And then just my bag to finish things off and um, i still need to get the zip fixed on this but i can't part ways with it because i just love it but i definitely need to get the zip fixed so yes this is my attire to go and look in huk and i'm excited to see what goodies we can find <laughs> Okay, here we are making our way to the Age UK charity shop. As you can see, it was a very sunny and lovely day. Perfect day in my mind. We headed in and I always start in this shop by looking at the t-shirts. They have this massive rack full of t-shirts. They are all um, in size order and most of them are like $3.99, $1.99, some of them are $2.99. So there's definitely a lot of them to look through and if you do spend your time rooting, you can guarantee that you will come away with a top from this shop because they have way too many to choose from. If you've seen my house then you'll know that I love a good vintage antique photo frame and so I couldn't resist when I saw these in here. And then I moved on to this dress rack and honestly I think I always find something on this dress rack every time I visit. I think I must have about five thrifting videos up on my YouTube channel now where I found a dress from this rack because it just always has like the best pieces on. I don't know what it is. Thank you. 
Okay, then I moved over to the jackets and they always have so many big and fluffy and warm jackets in this shop. I don't know who is donating them, but I mean at this time of the year, it's a pretty good idea to be fair. Okay, then we moved over to the right side of the shop and this is where like you can find all the home decor, all the little trinkets. There's so many little like random bits and bobs in here, but I love that because I love kind of exploring it. And then Mike picked up this um, Disney phone case, which he was joking, saying it would fit my phone because <laughs> it wouldn't. Um, and then I love this mug. It was actually for like milk, I think. And it was only $1.99. I definitely should have got it, but... I already have a lot of trinkets, so that's a difficult thing. Just trying to not buy them is very hard. One thing I love doing when I visit a secondhand shop is looking at the bedding and the curtains and the cushion covers because actually what I want to start doing is some more thrift flipping which is where you take like some curtains or bedding that you found secondhand and you make it into a wearable piece of clothing. I think this would be really exciting so definitely have a look at the kind of bedding section yourself because they always have so many to choose from. Okay, on to the back of the shop and this bit has lots of children's clothing, they have a changing room and then of course they have all the books on offer to look through. I am not in need of children's clothing so I went straight to the books and I could just honestly buy a, a new book every day, like I'm just obsessed. I'm definitely becoming a bit of a book hoarder and these are only $1.99 so that just makes it even more appealing. Then me and Mike found this Gordon Ramsay book. Gordon Ramsay is just so funny, like he's so random. Um, and then we had games at the top. I am a bit wary about buying games secondhand just because you don't know if all the pieces will be there. But if you can find one that is good and is full, then you're onto a winner. They also had some vinyls to go through and you know me, I will never turn down looking through a box of vinyls. Okay, and then onto the skirt, I was just browsing through. I do love a good skirt. And then I did find this beautiful brown one, which I think is so pretty. I love the contrast of like the orange buttons going down against the brown. I thought that was really cool.
Okay, and then we finished off by looking in the men's section. As always, I always look in the men's wear because I do love oversized blazers. And I was also with Mike on this trip, so we were just having a browse for him as well. The men's section isn't that large here, but they still do have a lot of shirts to pick from, a lot of blazers, a lot of suits. There still is a good variety. So we made it back home after our trip to Age UK and what a great little hour out. I had so much fun searching around in this shop. It honestly is one of my favourites and I think you guys might have been able to see why. Just because it's like on the verge of like being a small shop but they actually have it laid out so well and honestly as somebody that loves going to the charity shops this makes my life so much easier because they have like one big rack of all the t-shirts and at the back they have the dresses they also have a really good mixture of home decor which i love i like being able to shop like a mixture of both like home decor and clothing and then books as well they even have a changing room which a lot of charity shops don't have so this charity shop for me is definitely up there one of my favorites and to make it better I did come away with something that I'm very excited to show you. This bag is so funny to me. It's like so small. <laughs> but um, yes, I did come away with something. This is what I picked up. If you know me, you know how much I love a good skirt. And so when I found this kind of like suede, flowy, elastic waist, skirt i just knew that i had to have it this is just giving me like cottage vibes like florence the machine um what else like just like country girl cottage vibes which i totally adore i'm not 100 percent sure on the brand of it but the label says honey um I don't know if that is a brand or not. I'll have to have a Google. But it just seemed like in such good condition. Like I feel like it's hardly been worn. Um, and I can just imagine myself wearing this with like a little crop top. Maybe like a little blouse thrown over. I'm actually really working on my fitness right now. So I'm hoping soon I can get my abs and my, you know, stomach back out. That would be ideal because I think this skirt would be perfect for that. So yeah, it was $3.99, which I thought was a bargain. Um, it's a size 10 and it does have the original like labels on, which I thought was really cool. You don't usually see stuff with that on. And it does have the name again, Honey, on there with this kind of branding. So I feel like it's definitely a brand of some sort. But this original label says it was meant to be $17.99. So for $3.99, I mean, I got a pretty good discount on that. And yeah, I just like how this fits. I just like the kind of like flowing detail at the bottom. And I can see myself gravitating towards this on like an everyday occasion with like a cozy jumper, some boots and just be good to go out the door. I really love simple dressing. And to me, this is kind of like the epiphany of that because... It looks like you've put so much more effort into your outfit, but you haven't. You've just thrown on a beautiful, vintage, flowy skirt. And it's brown. I don't really wear brown, so something different for me. So yes, I'm excited to try it out and give it a few styling sessions. So that was everything that I picked up. I didn't get a lot of stuff in there, but I did find something that I really liked. Um, and for me, that's what this series is all about. It's about going into these charity shops and finding things that you know that you will get a lot of wear out of, that you love and you have a lot of love for. I didn't want to buy something that I wouldn't really wear or just for the sake of the video so i'm very happy with the item that i did buy i hope you guys enjoyed coming to visit the age uk shop with me let me know if you have an age uk in your area um i don't know many of them in liverpool i only know this one that i've been to today so i'd be interested to know where the other ones are located in the uk so yeah let me know if you know any of that information <laughs> and on that note i love you guys lots and i will see you on sunday for a new video